A man in Florida says all he did was ask a group of teenagers to turn down the volume, but then he says he was forced to defend himself by pulling out a gun and opening fire. There was emotional testimony this weekend in a rare Saturday court session, and ABC's Lindsay Janice has the latest. Lindsay, good morning. Good morning, Dan and Bianca. It all started 16 months ago on Black Friday when the defendant, Michael Dunn, parked outside of a gas station next to an SUV full of teens playing loud music. He asked them to turn it down. They said they did, but when they turned it back up, now one of them is dead. According to prosecutors, 17-year-old Jordan Davis, seen here in this exclusive YouTube video, was unarmed when they say he was murdered by 47-year-old Michael Dunn for playing loud music. A detective testifying Saturday, he found no weapons inside the parked SUV where Davis and three of his friends sat outside a Jacksonville gas station. Did you see any evidence in any of these locations of weapons? No, I did not. Lawyers for Dunn say he was defending himself after he heard threats and saw a gun inside the SUV. In an emotional testimony, Dunn's fiance, seen in this surveillance footage inside the gas station when the shots rang out, oh my God, somebody's shooting. describing that fateful night. What did the defendant say? Oh, I hate that thug music. On Friday, Davis's friends answering questions too. Isn't it true that the music was so loud that the windows and mirrors were vibrating in that SUV? Yes, sir. Tevin Thompson testifying when Dunn parked next to them and asked them to turn down their music, they did, but that Davis wanted it turned back up. What did Jordan Davis say? that turn music back up to you or someone else he's talking to me a minute later prosecutors say dunn pulled out a gun and started firing nine rounds then the boys realizing their friend had been shot was he making any sounds that you could hear yes sir what was that like uh gasping for air in the courtroom davis's parents wiping away tears reliving their nightmare well, Dunn's been charged with first-degree murder in Davis's death and also faces three counts of attempted first-degree murder for shooting at the three others in the vehicle. Dan and Bianca, this case has been compared to the Trayvon Martin case. It also happens to be the same prosecutor, but mm. I spoke to ABC's legal affairs anchor, Dan Abrams. He says there's a key difference here. There was no question that there was an altercation, so it may be hard to prove self-defense. Mm. It also happened in the same state as well. Lindsay, thank you.